Hello and welcome. Don't change that dial. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the Trixie Show. Okay, so it's been a while since I've played this one. And once again, figure out what I was doing. Larry Lake is his other she found on the table. I'm actually done with it. And at this point, it just ended up being bulk weight. I wonder what I should do with it. Can I read it? It looks like a pretty difficult book. But do you think if I spent some time with it, I'd understand? I'm sure you'd be fine. There's a lot of stuff you know in there already. So do you want to take a stab at it, Estelle? Sure, I'll give it a shot. Received 100 days war. certainly drank a lot. I'm going to put in another order to a revenue village for some fruit wine. No, I didn't want to go back outside. To go this way. <clears throat> Help a fellow out. I'm begging you. I, I can't take another drink. Wow, I think I've just reconsidered my opinion of you, of Olivier. It's pretty rare for anyone to still be conscious after a night of wine with Shira. <laughs> well, didn't the two of you come at a good time? How about having a drink together? You're both good for that, right? Well, we're going to eat dinner now, so the answer is no. Come on, you two. When I say let's drink, we drink. You're going to make me very angry if you don't sit down for a glass with me. Oh, great. She's already reached stage two. Rage mode. Don't worry, Shira. Olivier said he's good for another couple rounds. How about having him keep you company? What? So you can still drink more, can you? Eek. Joshua, could you just give... How could you just give me to her like that? I can't. I can't. Don't you feel sorry for the poor guy? I don't know. Should I? You're like a little demon and cute at the same time, too. <laughs> at least the fish are polite here. Uh, I guess he'll be just fine. How about we sit at the counter? I hate to bother the two of them. Right. Good idea. Please, Shira. I'm pleading with you. You and the fish. Don't pour me another glass. Uh. Uh. Oh, he's 
just totally plastered. It looks like even a guy who takes his sweet time for everything couldn't stand up to a drunken Shira. Oh wow, what a night of drinking. I've been so busy lately I haven't been able to enjoy myself like this for a while. And you're not even red in the face either from all that alcohol. Are you sure you haven't had a, some special kind of training, Shira? Um, it could have been all the bizarre liquors I drank while I was in the troop. You know, like the ones with scorpions and asps in them. I might have built up my resistance that way, but who knows. Somehow, I don't think that's the case. By the way, what do you plan on doing with him? He's pretty much useless as he is. Let's just let him sleep. He looks so peaceful now, and we wouldn't want to disturb him. There's a very high possibility that we'll have a direct encounter with the Sky Bandits tonight. And getting a civilian wrapped up in the middle of it all wouldn't be a good idea. Don't tell me you. You got Olivier drunk so he wouldn't be able to come along, didn't you? Well... Of course I did. He'll thank me in the long run, too. After his raging hangover, anyway. And so that whole time... You were just toying with him, weren't you? Let's see. It's getting late. Let's hurry up and get our stake out around the inn. Don't skirt around the issue, Shira. Quiet, you. For the time being, we're going to circle up to the far pier. Understood. All right, then. Let's go. Lloyd is staring at an open map. It appears to be a map of Hilaria Lake. There are hardly any structures on the west side, and I didn't get many bites either. And I'm getting on the east side are small-sized fish. The Guardian probably won't appear in either of those two places. I guess the best thing I can do is continue fishing from the shore. What do you think? But do you think they'll really show up? There's no guarantee, of course, but if Lloyd's information has any truth to it, my best guess is that they'll be here. However, if we move around too much, there's a possibility we'll be seen and they'll take off. Since the Sky Bandits are supposed to come from the road, it might be a good idea to watch the area. Right, so where should we watch from? We need a place where we can see the road without being noticed ourselves. A place like that would be ideal. Where we can see the road without being seen. Get as close as we can without being noticed. I 
figured they wouldn't be here yet. They always come exactly on time. I really hate those guys. They act like they're so superior, and to be honest, they're kind of scary. No doubt about that. They are quite the clandestine bunch. But there's not much we can do about it. This is an order from Don. This seems to be a good place. Yeah, we can hear every word they're saying, too. Hey, Kyle. Don't you think Don's been acting a bit strange recently? It's just not like him, if you ask me, you know? The whole hijacking of airlines thing. Well, I admit it was lucrative. Now we've got the army clamping down on us full scale. Not to mention those annoying bracers are now involved. And he's gone and taken hostages and demanded a ransom in return. No matter how I think about it, it seems like Don has gone way overboard this time. In the end, you'll always be just a girl. Deep down, you're just not cut out to run with a bad crowd. Excuse me? Okay, maybe not the best wording, but I meant it as a compliment. If things are getting too tough for you, you're always welcome to try salvaging a life back home. It shouldn't be too hard to get by as long as you don't set your sights too high. Although, admittedly, it is a bit colder than liberal. Do you think you can just treat me like a kid and I'm not going to get angry? I'd like to see you get by without me. What with your crap cooking and all, not to mention the laundry. Do you really want to go back to burnt toast and turning your underwear inside out? <laughs> okay, okay, I see your point. And I really am sick of toast, burnt or otherwise. But anyway, think about what I said before it gets too late to back out. Now, getting back to what you said earlier. I do have to agree that Don has been acting pretty weird. Does he expect us to just keep fishing for ransom? We should take what we can get. And I'd like to believe that Don is smart enough to see that. Don't you think he started acting strange? About that time that guy showed up. That's the only thing I can think of as to why he started acting like this. Yeah, he was the one who introduced us to those other guys too. He might have even gotten Don to buy into his ideas. Who is that guy? And he? That's certainly a good question. Hmm? Let's head over there. What's what? Looks like whoever it was they were waiting for finally showed up. It looks like you made it. On time as usual, huh? Hmm. You could have come a little early for a change. Or even late. Definitely not my type, that's for sure. Say what you will, but we're trained to be punctual. Now, if that displeases you, then let me offer my sincerest apology. Relax, I was just being sarcastic. Now I know you guys are definitely not the type I want to be around. Enough already, we don't have time for that. Now, how about we get down to business? Have there been any, any other developments since last time? Yes, in fact, Her Majesty has finally made a move. She intends to contribute to the ransom from her own assets. Seriously? We're going to get paid out of the Queen's own pocket? I guess we're pretty close to getting money then, right? How about the Royal Army? Is there any indication that they've figured out where our hideout is? Not yet, but it's only a matter of time until they do. We've received reports that members of the Bracer Guild are on the move as well. At any rate, on the morning of the payoff, you'll need to leave your hideout behind. Yeah, no problem there. We just happened to run into the temporary shelter by chance. Don shouldn't have any regrets about it either. And there are way too many suspicious types involved in this. What do you want to do, Shira? Should we just storm in, shoot them, and let Ideo sort them out? Hmm, I've got a much better idea. A better idea? These two siblings here appear. Means that the Sky Bandit's airship is parked somewhere nearby. There's not much we could do if they got away again, so how about we try taking that out first? 
I see. Take away their means of escape, right? I'm down for that. How about you, Joshua? Joshua? Oh, right. Take out the airship first, right? Yeah, I think it's a good idea, too. What's wrong? Your face looks really tense all of a sudden. It's nothing. Yeah, I'm sure it's just my mind playing tricks on me. We don't have much time. We've got to get out onto the road and start looking for that airship before they finish their meeting. Party took to the road in search of the location of the airship and... So they parked in front of that Amber Tower, huh? This is definitely the perfect place to land since it's off the main road. So what do you want to do, Shira? Should we subdue them? Hmm. That's one way to go about things. But there's more than double their number since the last time we encountered them. Don't worry, even with twice as many guys, they're no match for us. So how about we take them all on at once? Hmm. I don't know if that's the best way to go about things. Sorry to keep you all waiting. Uh, Ollie! Oh, it's down there, going to hear you. Look, this is a surprise. I can't believe you're just standing here for the state you were in before. Your tolerance is impressive. Hmm. Who do you think you're talking to? Rather than miss a minute of your fair company, I dutifully keep my guts up and dump the bucket of cold water over my head. Voila, I was good to go. I don't know about that. I think I hear your liver screaming somewhere in there. That's some serious tenacity. Come on, I can let you enjoy all the fun yourselves, right? I had just come out of the inn when I saw you guys at the road, so I came running up from behind to catch up with you. I guess I'm a little too easy on you. Maybe I should have had you down all that brandy at once. You'd have put me to sleep for good if you'd done that, sure. But anyway, quite in the sky bandits here would lie for nest, don't you think? I don't think that's the issue here. No, I'm serious. Even if you subdued them all and managed to arrest the two siblings, there's still a chance they won't tell you where their hideout is. And they might even use the hostages as weapons to demand their release. Well, there's a risk involved with whatever course of action we take. Or do you have a good plan on how we can avoid taking such a risk? Huh, boy do I ever. Listen up everyone. Okay, but if you blow in my ear, I'm seriously going to punch your lights out. Kyle, Josette, it's good to see you made it back. I didn't think you'd be gone so long. So talk took longer than expected, huh? Yeah, but we're nearing an end with our negotiations. We also managed to get a great deal of information about what's going on with the Royal Army. So what you're saying is, yep, we'll be getting the ransom money within a few days. We'll finally be one step closer to making our dream a reality. We did it! Sweet! Slow it down, guys. It's a little too early to be getting excited yet. For the moment, we need to get back to the hideout and report to Don. Alright, everyone. Pack up and let's get out of here. Roger that! Temperature outside is 69.8 degrees with 15% humidity. There's a south-southwest wind blowing at a speed of 12 R. There are no orbital reactions in the surrounding area. Looks like the army is in patrolling here. Activate the orbital engine and begin transmitting orbital energy to each section of the airship. I sir, orbital engine activated. Transmission of orbital energy to all sections underway. Orbital floater started. Orbital driver started. Stabilizers all green. Alright, lift off. Aye aye, sir. Set the driver.
drive to 40% and maintain cruising speed. However, make sure that we can switch to battle speed at any time. I sir. Looks like we'll make it back before morning. Yep. I'm ready for some serious shot at myself, but I've got to report to Don first. Sneaky, sneaky. She went completely gone, gone. There we go. Now she's moving. Oh, boy, am I tired. Ever since we came here, my night and day have been completely reversed. We just got to tough things out a little longer and then we can say goodbye to this horrible life. If John is our leader, we can't go wrong. been acting a little strange lately. And he's kind of scared to talk to you these days. How about you knock that crap off? Why would you ever be talking like that? They beat you upside the head. But it's just that I'm sure you're just tired from lack of sleep. Let's hurry and finish up here and get some rest. You're welcome to take a rest now if you'd like.
Nighty night.
Sunday night. Yeah. 
that session there's all sorts of monster stuff going on.
essence of you.
enjoyed this episode of The Trixie Show, don't forget to subscribe, like, or even join Miss Trixie for all the upcoming shows.